Mums and dads, boys and girls and little ones, is where I'm afraid we must take our leave of you. But we will be running up the Jolly Roger in just uh, six bells from now. So until then, this is your happy pappy Andy Andrews wishing you a very, very good night from Radio Jolly Roger. And to take us into the wee small hours, here's the master minstrel. Close it down, will you, Jerry? Think about my baby, why don't you think about me right now? Why don't you think about my baby? Why don't you have a heart before we part and I think about me? I need you so, you just don't know how much you mean to me. If you forget to remember when alone with someone you meet. Now get this quickly. They're passing on secret code to a submarine. I don't know the system they're using, but the record they use as a signal is Strauss's Blue Danube Waltz. Someone by the name of... You'll be Mr. Jensen, or should I say Captain? Huh? Well, the manager. We may be at sea, Drake, but I can assure you this is no Mediterranean cruise. Uh, I've seen that already. It's a business operation. The routine is no different from any land-based radio station. Except, of course, we don't have a license to broadcast, a situation which worries no one, apart from the government. Well, let's hope they don't bother about it too much. Uh, yes, here we are. Well, we are outside the three-mile limit here. Oh, yes, eh? So all they can do is grin and bear it. It means, of course, that the ships are long and they work hard. Like the pirates aboard, the rewards are high. This is the transmission port. Yes, I'll take you to the living quarters. Yes, 
Yes. Now, do you drink straight? That is not enough to lose my sea legs, no. Ah, right. Oh, Scott? Yeah, straight. Well, I must say, it hasn't been too easy operating with only one disc jockey. Uh, London office recommended you most highly. Oh, that's nice. Where's the studio? In the next port. I'll take you around later. I gather you're conversant with bank turntable operations. Oh, yes, nice Good. Well, you can take over the evening shift. No point in wasting time, eh? Well, then you should try that. Ah. Our new DJ? No, uh, J.D. As a matter of fact. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Johnny Drake. That's very good. Yes? I'm Linda. Uh, my wife. Oh, hello. How do you do, Linda? We certainly need some new talent around here. I've been listening to Susie. Honestly, darling, that girl gets drearier by the hour. Uh, Susie. Our other DJ, Susie Wade. She's been working around the clock for the last few days, not exactly bubbling over with new ideas. But some originality. I mean, mm. they're cliches, that girl. Needs well, you'll want to see your cabin, Drake, so yeah. I won't keep you. I'll have Corrigan show you the way. Uh, that's all right, darling. I've nothing better to do. Corrigan has nothing better to do either. I can show Johnny the way. Corrigan, will you come in here, please? Corrigan's our cook. Really? He's a bit of a character. It's a polite way of saying he's an habitual drunk. Would you be wanting me, sir? Ah, take Mr. Drake to his cabin, will you? Hey, yes, please. See you at dinner, Johnny. We're, uh, we're quite informal. Until dinner, then. Uh... I should have thought you'd learned your lesson with Andrews. Of course, darling. Didn't you? And how about that? They're the one, two, three boys in my book. Coming up now with a new one by Ray Anton and the Pro Form. And don't forget, all these good things are coming your way on Radio Jolly Roger, your friendly pirate. Here we go then with what should be the theme song of our forts. Look before you leap. <laughs> Oh, it's all that. We could be a wee bit more, if you're a considerate man. Has been known. Well, me and your predecessor, we had an arrangement. He'd give me a bottle occasionally, and I'd bring him snacks from the galley. Sounds interesting. Oh, it is, it is. You don't have a bottle or two carrying about with you, do you? It's just possible. Did he keep you supplied, then? Oh, I, I... Oh, it's just terrible business, terrible. It's what actually happened. Uh, well, it's hard to say. He was just going on his... I don't think we've been introduced. Well, the name's Mullins. We continue our session with more music. That's You're up to your old tricks again, are you, Corrigan? I'm here on the captain's orders. Show him Mr. Drake the ropes. You'd be better clearing up the galley. It's a slop house again. You keep out of my gun! Just get to it! I you paint me black bearded bird? I see I'm going to enjoy the happy family atmosphere you engender, Mr. Mullins. Well, he was just after the booze. The booze. Right. Mr. Johnson keeps a supply of bottles in the cabins. Uh, the nearest bar is eight miles away. Very thoughtful of him. Uh, studio's in the other fort. Uh, unpack your things and go and take a look, will you? Not a very sociable man, is he, Mr. Mullen? Oh, really. Man is a contumacious character. Is he? Ah. What does he do? It's nothing. Really? Got no job at all. Really? Mr. Riddle McCoy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's a dirty devil. He just goes after the captain, cleaning up after him. Oh, he's a mean man. A mean man, indeed. Oh, is he? Good 
risky. Would you like to take care of it for me? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, sir. <laughs> any time you want anything, I... Don't forget, whistle up old Carrigan. Any time, any time at all. <laughs> this is Radio Jolly Roger, and coming up next is... It's love I should have tried. I gave you all I had to give. I picked you up in style. But when I knocked on your front door, you never seemed to smile. I tried to lick that movie's a big red car to get you by my side. But all too late, my conscience told me it's love I should have tried. I've been waiting, waiting for you, baby. I've been waiting for you, child. Come on over, come on over, baby. Your place is right here by my side. Now that it's too late, I... Thank you, Rick Mites. Now we bring you a new one from Ted Astley. It's a groovy little number called The Scorpion. So you're Johnny Drake. What did they do, Shanghai you from the third program? No, no, I couldn't resist the brochure. All those balmy nights dancing on the main deck, tombola in the lounge. It's funny, I thought I knew most of the DJs. But I've never heard your name. Well, that's not surprising. I've been giving the word to the sheep farmers for the past year. Oh, Australia? I have a few friends there. Oh, it's New Zealand, as a matter of fact. I ah. see. Then you'll know all about the DR5s. Yes, the only thing I don't know how to do is change the elastic bands. We've got Jerry Summers for that. Hey, Jerry, meet your latest headache. I can see he's going to be a great comfort on the long night shifts. You won't find it so funny a week from now. What time are you taking over? After dinner, earlier if you like. How about the program schedules? Janssen been over them with That's you. That's what I came to check on. Look all in here. You'll get cues from Jerry when we're going to run commercials. Your discs are all made up and ready to go. Rule number one being always to stick to schedule. Mm -hmm. The rest is patter and sheer boredom. Well, you can always go back if you like. They've stopped hanging pirates now, you know. I'll go when I'm ready, not before. So do we all, unless we fall overboard. Hmm? That isn't funny. And now coming up is a preview of good things to come. With me now is a new DJ you'll be hearing a good deal from on Radio Jolly Roger. I'm referring to that well-known exponent of the turntable and very good friend of mine, Johnny Drake. Friends, this is Johnny Drake, fresh in on the noonday tide, with a new batch of discs for you, which will be coming to you through Radio Jolly Roger, the friendly pirate. Uh, I'll be manning the guns round about six bells and firing off some new discs and some old favourites. Right now we have for you, uh, uh, Strauss's Blue Danube Waltz. Well, we'll uh, change that for a start, won't we? Let's go exploring and see what we've got now. Ah, what better to change it with than uh, Don't Try to Change Me by Rick Minus. What's the matter, Rick? Forgotten the words? You idiot. We're not allowed to change the record schedules at all. What difference does one record make? What's so special about it, anyway? Hey, don't try to change the What the do you think you're playing at? Huh? I'm sorry, Mr. Jensen. It was a mistake. Mistaken? You mean stupidity. That record was clearly marked. Neither of you have the authority to make changes. You want good programs, don't you? I mean, that record went out with the roaring twenty. This is my station, Drake. I'll worry about the ratings. You do that again, you're out. You understand? Oh, fair enough. I'll play the teddy bears picnic all night long, and that's what you want. It's not what I want. And don't try to get smart with me. I'm sorry, I didn't realize it's so important. It isn't important. It's... It's a question of the copyright payments. The oh, London office does all the paperwork. You I understand? That's all of the Well, uh, let's just forget about it, shall we? I can put it out next, Mr. Jansen. Uh, yes, yes, why not, Susie? Oh, I'll go and finish my unpacking. I, I, I'm terribly sorry about that. That's all right, Drake's having it. I'll see you later.
That was key to my heart. And now for a change in waltz time, here's an old favorite, the Blue Danube. I think we're going to be in for a storm. Mm -hmm. uh, Corrigan always uh, takes the bottle when the barometer falls. Fascinating character. Though. Oh, my husband chose him personally. Didn't you, dear? I want to see you later, Corrigan. Do you understand? When do you say so? Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, Johnny, uh, what do you think of our studio? I hope you don't find it as primitive as some of our uh, amenities. Oh, very well equipped, I'd say. Good. Perhaps now that you're here, we'll be able to put on some entertaining programs. Yes. Uh, do you do any broadcasting yourself, Mrs. Jansen? Well, heavens no. I never seem to have the time. Right. Well, you're due on the air soon, Jake. Oh, yes. Yes, I am. I'd um, better be going man those tables, wouldn't I? Good luck. Well, we'll soon see if he's everything he claims to be. Mm. What a fascinating thought. Cutting in fine, are you? Emily Failing, are you ready? Commercials are running. One minute. Just the schedule? Am I? You're in tune to the sound of Radio Jolly Roger and it's Coffo time. Oh, relax, Marco. It's money time. I just don't want any problems, that's all. Honestly, darling, you're getting positively neurotic. Ah, hello there, landlubbers. Welcome to Radio Jolly Roger, your friendly pirate, Johnny Drake, on the bridge. Or to use the surf site syllables, J.D., the DJ of the J.R. I'll be with you till the dog comes on watch right now. Here we go with Mio Amore Sta Lontano, Angelique. Well? You're the warrior, darling. And you're supposed to be the expert. He's good. He makes Susie sound like amateur oh. knight at the village hall. Oh, thank goodness for that. No change in schedule, then? There never was any question of that, surely? No, no, of course not. A drink, Mama? Yeah, please. Well, what do you think of the new DJ? Fascinating. Uh, 
wind's blowing up a storm out here, but not to worry. Request time will be with you 15 minutes from now. Meanwhile, let us go with a new one from the Copperfields, John Hardy. John Hardy was a brave little man. He carried two guns every day. Killed him a man in the West Virginia land. It'll last the night. Oh, sure do. All medium wave stuff, isn't it? Oh, that's all we broadcast on. I, I thought you might have had a standby transmitter for uh, communications. Huh? There's a radio telephone for that. What's in here? Not being the inquisitive type, I wouldn't know. Oh, it's your studio, isn't it? I work here, that's all. What are you after, Drake? You've been asking questions ever since you came here. I'm just naturally inquisitive, especially when someone seems to be hiding the answers. Well, you take a tip from me. This is the wrong sort of place to get nosy in. Is that what Andrews did? Yes, but he... Look, Drake, I am not involved, and I don't want to be. Right? Well, it's your privilege, isn't it? I'll take you home again, Catherine. To where your heart has ever been. By night for fishing, Mr. Curry. Yeah. Hey! It depends on what you catch, Mr. Something for breakfast. Hey, if you taste like that way. Dead and drowned. Drowned? Fish? Hey. Been on the hook in the sea too long. What's the fishing like here about? Plenty of herring. Oh, hey. that's a fine fish. Very fine fish for breakfast. What do you use for bait? Oh, seaweed. Seaweed's good here. Best thing you can have. You could do with some seaweed. No, thank you, Mr. Corrigan. Would you like some navigators through it? No, thank you, Mr. Corrigan. Then I keep some. Yes, right. keep it. Good night. Especially for you. Thank you. There
morning, Drake. How do you like your first taste of a good sea breeze? Racing, Mr. Jansen, quite racing. I only hope our anchors are secure. Oh, it'll take more than a storm to shift the Jolly Roger. Let's hope so. No, this was an artillery fort during the war. They built dozens of them out at sea all around the coast. Fitted them out with anti-aircraft guns. They did a very good job, too. It really belongs to the army, then. <laughs> no, not anymore. They left them to rot for 20 years. I just claimed these under maritime law. This one's bedded down under solid rock. That's a very glad to hear it. Well, I wish somebody would tell Corrigan. It makes me seasick just to look at him. <laughs> You're not here, Mr. Drift. It's going to be a stormy afternoon, I think. Yes, it's blowing up. We might be in for some bad weather. I certainly we might. How's everything in the galley all battened down, is it? Oh, everything is stowed safely, ship shape. But it rolls a bit. Oh, it rolls all the time. And the only thing that's rolling down there are your empty bottles. No, ma'am. No. They're stowed away quite safely. I'm not a man to drink in any way. Hope it stays fine for you. Yes. <laughs> stays fine for me. Yes. Ah. Ah. Yes. Are you on shortly, aren't you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, sorry, Anne. Is uh, Summers still in the studio, isn't he? Yes, he plays tapes from six o'clock. Oh, he's a busy man. I want my breakfast. <laughs> Morning, Mr. Mullins. Well, you look as though you had a bad night. Now, don't you worry about me. I don't have to beguile the housewives. No, no, you're, you're more the strong, silent type, aren't you, Mr. Mullins? Uh -huh. That's what I like about breakfast. Such a nice, friendly atmosphere. You're rather good at causing trouble, aren't you? Oh, no, no, no. Not, not really. Not, not, not deep down underneath, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. Oh, I'd better go and join the, uh, the happy housewives. How many have we got, by the way? What? Audience figures, huh? Oh, um, about a million. Really? Drake with Top of the Morning from Radio Jolly Roger, your friendly pirate. Got some fabulous sounds coming your way to speed along those household chores. But first, let's take a rain check, housewives. I mean, <laughs> homemakers. One, kettle on. Should be boiling by now. Two, teapot and necessary standing by. Three, feed up. Cigarettes handy. I'll uh, tell you the brand later. Four, check that hubby has in fact left. You never know, he might still be asleep behind that morning newspaper. Already, let's go with It's a Lie, the Stormsville Shakers. Much of a talker, are you? About anything? It's not what I'm paid for. I suggest we have a little practice. What about? Andrews. They say we're the last person to see him. So what? We were on duty together, he left next morning. Gone. That strike you as a little suspicious. You know, when a person doesn't want to talk, it usually means they have something to hide. Look, the police came, they agreed he must have fallen off the deck. As it's always kept locked. I don't know. Power cables, Summers. Where do they go to? You ever wondered about those? Yes. So did Natalie. But he found out. Hmm? I think so. See, Jensen sometimes asks us to leave the generators on overnight. And that only occurs when you're playing Strauss's Blue Daniel Waltz. He got the idea a few days before it disappeared. I didn't want to get involved! For someone who's not involved, you seem to know an awful lot. You're on. Thanks. 
Thank you. The Storm School Shakers are now stand by for 10 of the best from the American Hot 100. But first, let's hear about the latest from Bouquet Boutique, the family florist with the name for quality. A rose by any other name would smell as sweet, but when it's from Bouquet Boutique, well, you just know it's hand-picked and fresh as the morning dew. For all those special occasions, consult Bouquet Boutique, your family florist. And I can vouch for them, ladies. I never get my buttonholes anywhere else. Now stand by for the American Hot 100. There is something else. Why, yes, what is it? Andy made a note of the dates and transmission times of that disc. I found his notebook on the top deck the following morning. Where is it? In my cabin. I can't show it to anybody else. I've got to do all this. Eight, ten numbers. There's plenty of time. Get it. Go on. Indexer. What sort of trouble? You just killed Johnny Drake. You stupid fool! Never mind that. Why? Well, he was in the transmitter room, you know. All right. Well, I was bringing him down here when he turned on me. He was no DJ either. Didn't you hear what I said? Yes, of course we did, my dear. You said that Mr. Drake slipped and fell into the sea. You're not going anywhere, so don't bother trying. You're mad, all of you. Please, it's sure to find out. We're not exactly on the local bus route. incentive was strong enough. You'll go on the air, broadcast as if nothing had happened. So long as you keep doing that, you'll be of some small value to us.
suppose I give myself away? I can't just oh, come. Oh, don't worry, darling. You're dreary at the best of times. Don't be unkind, Linda. I'm sure that Susie will do her best now that she knows how important it is. I won't lose any sleep if I have to use this. It won't be the first time. This is Radio Jolly Roger, your friendly pirate, and it's Susie Wade with a bumper bundle of the latest by the greatest. Here we go then with No Words From You by the Zephyrs. I sent a letter to you only yesterday. I said the things a lonely boy want to say away. You didn't have to kill Summers. Well, you said to find out. He knew all about Drake and he even had that noble guy under How the devil am I going to justify this? Maybe the submarine can help. Oh, you idiot. It's miles away by now. Can't contact it till the next rendezvous time. Well, the barometer's rising. It's not raining already. What have you done with Summers' body? Send his cabin. I'd better move it, just in case. <coughs> Radio telephone. Where is it? It's not here. It's in the studio. Stay there. Please. What sobered you up, Mr. Corrigan? Summers? You might say that. We appreciate you helping us to find the notebook. When Summers scarpered to his cabin, we thought... However, gratitude is an empty emotion. That was the very latest from the Zephyrs. And our tip for the charts. This is Radio Jolly Roger, your friendly pirate, coming to you on 219, and it's a brand new one from The Intuitions, Though I Know. for the, uh, the new generation. It's one o'clock on Radio Jolly Roger. Stay tuned to 219 for the good things. 
Coming up now with the number one in entertainment, the New Generation Show, brought to you on Radio Jolly Roger by Helen Tours, the holidays of a lifetime. And here's the New Generation themselves with The Key to My Heart. <laughs> Climber in our Hot 100. Time now for a change of tempo, which is the way things are out here right now. Storms died down, seas calm. You might say it's quiet enough for a drum solo. So stay tuned to Radio Jolly Roger, your friendly pirate, where it's quiet enough for a drum solo right now. Coming up, a new one from the Skylarks. Keep me satisfied. <laughs> Quiet enough for a drum solo. It might be a code. Do you think Susie is... Susie? Never. She wouldn't say boo to a mouse. She might be tied up with Andrew after all. Or Drake. I told you we shouldn't wait. I told you. Tell Linda to give the emergency signal for the submarine. We must leave at once. Well, that's the last trick you'll play. You've got a lot of explaining to do. Come on. here for a drum solo and this is Johnny Drake your friendly DJ signing off and disembarking with He Who Rides a Tiger by Patsy Ann Noble.
away for the weekend. You'll have many of them, long secluded ones. Good idea, this pirate station, wasn't it? Pop music till midnight, military secrets by special request. And keep them waiting. 